by, uh, by a political fog that has distorted um, and has marginalized people differently and has created more death than should have happened by, uh, by a political fog that has distorted um, and has marginalized people differently and has created more death than should have happened. Be alert to who you are and be alert to, to aspects of yourself that may be able to uh, grow and expand and exist in ways that would not have been possible had we not been faced with this crisis. Learn about the disease, learn about the virus, and learn how to protect yourself. So it all starts with me that way, I believe. And I, I, I think that rather than isolation, I think that people were, were really um, open to building a community around the crisis of HIV and AIDS. I also got very active in a uh, support group in Yakima right off the bat. Um, and that so in a sense, we're all in this together in the COVID situation, and yet the world and humanity does not behave like we're all in it together. I mean, there are such vastly different ways of coping with this. And I think the emotional range goes from rage and denial and, uh, and blame and uh, uh, polarization to some of what we also experienced in the better way during the AIDS epidemic, which was uh, feeling like one is part of a community and the best parts of us. Will you kiss me? And I, I said, absolutely, I will kiss you. And as I, as so I went and I grabbed his face and I kissed him all over his face. <laughs> and he said, even my mother won't kiss me. And that broke my heart. It just broke my heart. The fear and anxiety that life will never get back to normal, that this is just going to get worse, and that the, you know the fear that there may not be a light at the end of the tunnel. Whereas with this pandemic, I think the isolation uh, is motivated because of a scientific approach to this pandemic that I, I have often thought back uh, to the mid eighties and thought, wow, what if Anthony Fauci had been listened to the same way then as he is listened to now. I try to keep the anxiety level down and I try not to listen to um, to hear saints, I just listen to the science and I I listen to BBS news. That's my new source. It's not I listen. For many, many years during the AIDS epidemic, there was questions of, you know, I mean, at the very beginning, it was, is it safe to eat in a restaurant with gay waiters? I was with all gay men and I would not be here if it wasn't for my gay brothers.